you are probably no stranger to a sore throat. They are not only painful, but they are one of the top reasons people go to a doctor and take sick leave days from work and school. Anyone who has suffered from a sore throat knows just how miserable it can be. But while sore throat pain along with cold and flu symptoms are common problems, a persistent sore throat should not be ignored. The specialists at Lake Ear, Nose, Throat and Facial Plastic Surgery tell us what they look for when hunting for the cause of a sore throat. Some common throat conditions we see are from allergies, postnasal drainage, acid reflux, swallowing problems, voice issues from either or all of uh, the above. I think there is um, a problem between people understanding the difference between allergies, um, an upper respiratory illness, just a virus, or actually getting you know flus and bacterial uh, sinusitis. Most patients that we have come in are kind of um, against the idea that they do have allergies. So usually they just wait till those proceed on and they've actually gained a sinusitis where they have the facial pain and purulent nasal drainage and everything that actually does need antibiotics. Um, Thankfully, most people who do have allergies in this area especially, they are a little aware of their symptoms and they try to take their antihistamines as needed to kind of decrease that chance. Regarding the nose and the sinuses, uh, that's a very frequent uh, problem area in Florida um, with allergies. So most folks have some underlying seasonal or year-round problems uh, with inflammation, congestion, runny nose, um, and then sinus pressure, recurrent sinus infections. Uh, the nasal congestion can lead to problems with snoring, and snoring can be the tip of the iceberg for what's called obstructive sleep apnea. If somebody is having a sore throat, uh, generally you'll look for other systemic issues such as a fever, um, chills, sweats, how long it's been going on, and on exam looking at their throat, is there evidence of uh, pus in the throat, tonsil inflammation, is the back wall red and uh, there can be some cobblestoning which is a clinical term we use that suggests postnasal drainage and then looking down at the throat either with an indirect exam with a mirror or with a flexible endoscope to look at the voice box and see if there's some redness or swelling or if there's any lesions or problems with the actual vocal cords. You'll find information for services provided at Lake Ear, Nose, Throat, and Facial Plastic Surgery when you click the Sore Throat Survival Story Link icon on our homepage at yourhometownhealth.com.